Hey, what's up everyone? A lot of people have started using uh, Run Ahead on RetroArch, but a lot of people don't know how to gauge the latency and what setting they should use. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Uh, easiest way to do that is to start with uh, Sonic the Hedgehog on Genesis. So go ahead and launch it. Also make sure that you're launching a LR core, and the LR core has to support save states, otherwise the Run Ahead isn't going to work. Okay, so you're going to start the game, and you're going to get to a position, and get ready to press a button, and what you're going to do is you're going to press the hotkey button on your, on your controller, mine is select, and then you're going to press P on your keyboard to pause everything, and then what you're going to do is you're going to press whatever button or direction you want on your, key, uh, on your controller, and then you're going to press K on the keyboard, all simultaneously. You're going to keep doing it until you see your character move. And once your character does move, you're going to subtract that number of times it took to get the character to move and subtract one from it. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. So basically what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press B and then next frame. And then the next frame he moved. So that's two. And then you subtract one from that. So my run ahead should be one. So I'm going to go into RetroArch by go, pressing my hotkey and then Y, and then go into Settings, and then Latency, and then Run Ahead Latency, turn it on, and number of frames to run ahead is 2 minus 1, which is 1, so I just select 1, and then also, if you can, select a second instance if your um, single board computer supports it. Um, the Odroid and the N2 have no problem with it. Uh, I don't know about the Raspberry Pi. So, once you have that, go ahead and go in the main menu, and I save the configuration file. You don't have to. I also go back into the game, and then I exit out, and relaunch. If you notice, the actual emulator started up twice. It, you can kind of see it flash there for a second. Um, basically, that's going to help us get perfect frame rates and no latency. So I'm going to go ahead and press start now. And hopefully you guys can see not a single bit of lag. Perfect, perfect speed. Now, if you get jitters or any kind of like weird movements, that means that your setting is wrong. If you get any kind of graphics corruption or unsmooth scaling, I can't believe I died on that. There is no lag whatsoever. You can do this for all the cores, um, Nintendo, Super Nintendo, everything works pretty good. Um, not a problem, I've had any slowdowns or anything like that. Um, I am not able to get it to work on Flycast, but it does work on FB Neo, which is really cool. So, if you guys have any other questions, just let me know. Hope you enjoyed the video.